Welcome back to the show, folks. This is the Shankly Session, the Liverpool podcast we bring you each and every week on the Dynamo Podcast Network on YouTube. Head over there, smash that subscribe and bell notification button. Audio versions of the show are available through Spotify. And if you'd like to contact the show, you'll get us on Twitter at Sessions Shankly or on Facebook and Instagram, the upper tier. This is your Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid preview. Massive game coming up this week for Liverpool, especially on the back of a poor performance against Brighton at the weekend. But we'll get into this now. Liverpool have an opportunity to basically solidify their position at the top of the group and also qualify for the next round, looking like they'll be winners of the group if they could run out winners this Wednesday under the lights on Anfield, 8 o'clock. Let's have a look at their current form. Liverpool in the Champions League, as we know, three wins from three. Um, Atletico in the Champions League, a draw, a win, and a loss. The loss coming at the, the one that against us. Um, so they'll have a point to prove as well. They'll want to, uh, you know, fix up for that loss. They'll want to try and do their best to get back in there and put themselves back in a, a strong position in the group. Um, but safe to say Liverpool will try and battle against this. Let's get into some team news. Liverpool. Naby Keita, as we know, was out, picked up an injury at the weekend there. Brighton had to go off. Milner out at the moment as well. And obviously Harvey Elliott, we can see that the progress that he's making is coming along nicely, but not near ready to come back yet. Good news coming in today, though, is Thiago and Fabinho are in contention for the game, which is massive considering the midfield we went with on Saturday and how easy Brighton tore it apart. Um, Jota could replace Firmino, who again had a poor game against Brighton. Um, Oxen Curtis will probably drop to the bench after poor performances against Brighton. Um, for Atletico, we know that Griezmann is out, picked up the red card in the, the first game. Stefan Savage is still serving a ban as well. Laurente looks like he'll be past fit for the encounter. Thomas Lamar looks like he's been ruled out by Simeone. And Jeffrey Condogbia remains doubtful due to a concussion. Felipe could join Jose Jimenez and Hermanzo in the back three if. Condogbia doesn't recover from that concussion. Um, and it's looking like Correa, Joe Felix and Luis Suarez should all feature up top in Griezmann's absence. Uh, what a front three. Absolutely outstanding. Um, and that is really where the danger is going to come from. We've seen how good Joe Felix was when you give him a bit of time. And we all know how good Luis Suarez is without a shadow of a doubt. But the boy Correa is an absolutely baller as well. You know, So he'll present a lot of danger. Um, in terms of predicted lineups, looking at Liverpool, the thinking at the moment is Allison, Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, Matip coming back into the team without a shadow of a doubt to solidify that back line. Van Dijk, Robertson, Fabinho, Henderson, Thiago, nice balance in the midfield there compared to Saturday, and Salah, Jota, and Mane up front. For Atletico, the possible lineups, of course, Oblak, Felipe. Jimenez, Hermoso, Trippier, DePaul, Coke, Carrasco, Felix, Suarez and Correa. Outstanding starting lineup for Atletico and they will definitely have a point to prove. Um, I suppose this is a huge game for both teams in terms of their position at the moment. I mean, the group looks um, Liverpool top of it, of course. But of course, anything can happen in these kind of middle games. Sorry about that, folks. Just lost connection there with Zoom, but we are back. Yeah, uh, Atletico will have a major point to prove in this because they'll want to um, avenge that defeat at the Wanda, the first defeat they've had there in a long, long time. And I think their first defeat in the Champions League there, I think in something like three or four years, crazy um, record that they had there. But we know what, what's going to happen in this game. This is going to be a tough game for us to get through. We can ill afford any more injuries. And we know that Atletico are rough and tough and they're going to make it down and dirty. Whereas we have to play our game within ourselves, use our passing and our intelligence to stay away. So we don't get dragged down into that. If you remember in the first game, we were doing really well. We started off really well. We started playing our game and stuff like that. But then they dragged us down into their dirty game. And that's when it started to fall apart a little bit for us. So we can't afford that to happen again. In terms of predictions, I'm thinking Liverpool 3-1. Um, I think under the lights at Anfield, I think they owe the crowd one after Saturday, uh, which was so disappointing. Um, and I think Liverpool will kick on and push on. Um, the interesting thing about this is if Atletico do get a defeat, 
um, it opens the door for Porto. If Porto can beat Milan, we'll put Atletico under an awful lot of pressure in terms of trying to qualify then. Um, but it remains to be seen. But it's an absolute belter of a turn, uh, a belter of a match coming up midweek. It's going to be absolutely exceptional. I expect Mo to get back on the score sheet again. A nice little maybe set piece from Trent Alexander Arnold, and then maybe um, a corner, maybe a header off Van Dijk or Matip. Maybe we'll see it out. You know that would be absolutely perfect for us. Well, this has been your preview. Liverpool versus Atletico under the lights, 8 o'clock Wednesday at Anfield, Fortress Liverpool. As always, head over to YouTube, Dynamo Podcast Network. That's where you'll find all the shows on the upper tier, the Shankly Sessions, and there's a new podcast out there now, a new Man United one, the Red Devils Report. Ted is hosting that along with Darren and with Greg. Check that out as well. Definitely worth the check out. The boys know their stuff, but they're down the middle. They're not your typical United fans. They call it as they see it. Um, so go over there try and enjoy that give the guys the support as well until next time it's been your host Niall Hogan of the Shankly Sessions and we will talk to you again real soon <laughs>